Hey guys, Matt here from the uh, Pinkula999 channel. I'm going to try and keep this quick. Um, I've noticed a lot there's a trend in these how-to videos with uh, video related stuff as, as, a, as opposed to video editing. And I'm going to try and uh, be really quick about this. But uh, channels like Final Cut King and Indie Mogul and uh, Film Riots don't seem to mention this really important detail when shooting with DSLR footage. Uh, basically you need to use MPEG stream clip. Uh, the codec uh, is H.264, the raw H.264 files that come from DSLRs uh, is not really compatible with software like Final Cut. And since that's the most common, I'm just going to vouch for Final Cut. So um, if you wanted to just upload the whole file as it is, you can open it up in MPEG stream, MPEG stream clip, right click and open up with Epic Stream Clip. You can download it anywhere. I would take a. I would do a Google search. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I'll find the link. Um, but anyway, what you got to do um, is open up your file with MPEG Stream Clip. You want to go down here. Now, depending on what you're exporting, you want to use Apple Intermediate Codec. Uh, if you want to put it in Final Cut, this is what you can throw in. You can just throw it right into the timeline, and it works. There's no reduction of quality or anything. Um, and then if you wanted to upload the raw file itself, just re-export it to H.264 and it comes out fine. Uh, the, uh, the cute dogs eating corn video is an example of that. I just, I didn't want to edit it so I re-exported it in another uh, format for H.264 and it uploaded to YouTube just fine. And it's, it, there's no reduction of quality whatsoever. And uh, to prove that, I'm going to show you the original file here. I read about it in a book. <laughs> so, uh, and then we go down here, make a separate folder, and then the six seven five. Okay. Now, I challenge you to say that there is a difference in these video files here. If you take a closer look. I read about it in a book. Yeah, it seems a little darker. This one. Uh, but other than that, there isn't really much you can tell the difference with. Uh, this seems a little bit grayer in the area, but this is what you need to know in order to use uh, DSLR video. Uh, usually a lot of SD cards need a lot of conversion, so MPEG Stream Clip is your best friend, everyone. This is Matt from Pinkula999, and I'm out of here.